I'm Dan Botkin, uh, service manager of DeLorean Motor Company, California. All right. And Hi, I'm Don Steger. I'm the owner of DeLorean Motor Company, California. I'll kind of go back a little bit farther. John DeLorean was going to be up for the head of General Motors. Uh, he decided he wanted to start his own company back in about 1973, I believe. So he left General Motors to start DeLorean Motor Company. Uh, it took him until about 1981, was the first model year of the DeLorean, to come out to, uh, to build his car. And they built about 9,000 cars from 1981 through 83. Uh, then the company default went, on, went, to, uh, went out of business. Um, and now today we just keep running, running the cars and restoring the cars and that's where we're at. How many miles does it have on the car? It is over 400,000 miles. 400,000 miles. He figured about 450,000 miles. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. How long have you had it? Got four miles when I got it. Bought it brand new. He only had four miles when he bought it. That's pretty cool. Supposed to be his car crashed through a, uh, a brick wall. And it's got scratches. What movie? All. What movie was it for? Uh, I have to talk to Dan. I forget. It's a, it's a well-known movie star. Oh, okay. Yes. So they they ran it through a brick yeah, wall. They weren't supposed to. Drove it through to. a brick wall. Yeah. Here's what you call a Veronica wheel. This is 80 grit sandpaper right here. 80 grit. Feel how coarse that is. It's real coarse. Yeah. That's what the factory used to buff these out with. Here, let me go ahead and hook one up and I'll show you how it works. Okay. And that's exactly what the factory did too. Yes. This is called a scotch bright pad. If you take this on the car, and this is a scotch bright pad, and this blends it in. And then you use this, it smooths it out really nice. And it kind of blends in all the, little, the lines. Yeah. This is a blending pad, they call it. This is a Chevrolet 4.3 Vortex motor. Uh, Dan's got bigger injectors, bigger cam, bigger pistons. We're uh, looking forward to having about 300 horsepower out of this thing. Got a special heavy duty clutch. We modified it so that you can push the clutch in real easy. The world's fastest, which has 576 horsepower, the clutch is so heavy, you can hardly drive it. Now this, this will be the world's fastest Back to the Future car. Run. Cool. That is legit. Oh, everything's in there. That's the flux capacitor over here. All the lights, time circuits. Now this one's taken me about three years. My first one took me about four or five years. I, got, I kind of work on my side time. Now we're building one for our DeLorean Motor Company in Florida. That's outside, and we're going to have that done in about two months. So that'll be the that'll be the quickest one I'm doing. But with uh, with a lot of help from other other people that are building Back to the Future parts, and now that I've done enough of them, where we can get them down pretty quick now. So I'm going to start offering it to the public. If somebody wants to convert their car to a Back to the Future car, we're going to come up with a nice good price point for everybody. And so if you want to go this route, you can do it. Um, this thing has uh, on a dyno, puts out 16 pounds boost, puts out 576 horsepower. It's a Buick Grand National. Uh, you turn the boost up to uh, uh, 20 pounds boost, it'll put out 700 horsepower. And it's all run by computers. It just, this one here has been sitting for a little bit. We just kind of went through and cleaned it up and got the engine running and got it all dialed in. We're just going to get a smog today and the customer's going to come pick it up. Customers have a car for quite a while. And what does it take to make it red? Well, it's a lot. It's a special primer. You have to prep the stainless steel a little differently than you'd prep a normal car. But whoever did this car did a really good job. You can tell it's it's not peeling, and this, this is an older paint job, and it still looks really good. Yeah. Here's my baby. Open up the door. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Hey, there we go. I've got digital electronic fuel injection in my car, all computerized. 